the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Can we pray for a few minutes? Please rise up. Let's pray. You are here, moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Walk, Promise Keep, Light in the Darkness. That is who you are. We call you there. Waymaker, Miracle Walk, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness. My God, that is who you are. One more time. I call you Waymaker, Miracle Walk, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Please shout it after me. You can give them the mic. Help me, guys. Maybe two or three mics. Just give them. We can have it back. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time, shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every planting that is not of God in and around my life, in and around my destiny, be destroyed right now. Lift your voice and start praying. Hey, Pratos, let the branch take a Pratos and Prakate. Tell us that you should break it in the cup. In Prakata Pratata Pakato Prakata Pakate. He pros Kati Baros Katelekate. He pros Kati Barakus. Are you praying? Every planet that is not of God in and around my life. In and around my destiny, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. 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 I'd like you to pray. He says, as for me and my house. Listen, whether your family members are here or not, you are going to stand in faith with them. Lord, as you are visiting me, wherever they are across this room, let the power of God reach them. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. As for me and my house, as for me and my house, as for me and my house, 
As for me and my house, Hallelujah. 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 James chapter 4 and verse 3. Apostle James is schooling us in prayer. And he's saying that there is a possibility that men can ask and yet not receive. And he tells us why. Because ordinarily, everyone that asks it should receive. But he's saying there exists a possibility that you can ask and still not receive. He says, because you ask amiss. You ask amiss. Amiss means out of patterns. And the pattern is give us this day. You can't say give me everything. You must mention what you desire. He said, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them. What things soever ye desire. No assumptions. Give us this day our daily bread. Are you ready to pray? You're going to open your mouth and mention everything or every area you need a visitation. No assumption. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Lift your voice and pray. No assumption. No assumption. If it's healing in your body, declare it. If it's a yoke that has sat upon your destiny, declare it. Hallelujah. 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 Now, here's how we do it here. Please listen. Whilst, whilst I begin to minister, for the sake of time, we have so many things to do this night, and I don't intend to keep us here beyond our normal time. So let me advise you up front, if you are yet to write your prayer request, we have a structure here that somewhere... Um, as we as the meeting is ongoing we'll collate all the requests even those online you can do well to just send in your prayer requests and we'll pray so if you're yet to do that please do that number two if a word comes now please hear this I need to tell us this it doesn't mean that if a prophetic word does not come carrying your name or carrying descriptions that directly relate to you it doesn't mean God is not speaking to you. You see, the way God works is that what he says to one, he says to all. So if, for instance, God is speaking over someone who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, even though it is that particular case I may want to see here, but it doesn't mean that every other person cannot connect. Are we together now? If God is speaking concerning maybe captivity over a family, and then if a prophetic word directly relates to you please do well to save us time by coming at least or indicate if you're not within this auditorium so that we know these are some of the things that take away so much time it's not a vigil so we're limited are we together there's a lot we have to do we have to pray 
uh, for the sick we have to minister deliverance and so on and so forth but i'd like you to believe that this will be your miracle service that this will be your miracle service in the name of jesus christ tonight i'm i'm really sensing and, and it's a very strange way but i'm sensing that god wants to begin tonight by ministering to those who are in ministry ministers of the gospel those who are currently in ministry and this is what this is what the holy spirit is ministering to me there are people who have churches there are some of you who have groups and for some they just came for greater levels of fire you don't have to come out I want to pray for you and for some of you you have the call of god upon your life but you do not even know and the holy ghost has been looking for you some of you you are the ones destined to lift your family and god has been speaking to you this is the miracle service where he finally finds you hmm. hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 I pray right now for everyone who is in ministry. And has not been producing the kind of results that the bible says should follow or those who have the genuine call of god upon their lives please i want you to bring those under the anointing as i pray this prayer right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i stretch my hands may fire from heaven rest upon individuals let there be an ignition from the realm of the spirit young and old inside and outside i count three one two three take that fire now take that fire now please bring them out very quickly take that fire now in the name of jesus any church that is not growing any man of god who is struggling in ministry i bring you the power of the holy ghost here at this miracle service in the name of jesus christ intercessory groups all kinds of platforms that don't seem to be working in the name of jesus some of you your ministry is to your families there are altars that god is raising you to fight and tear down i decree and declare young and old may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus may that power come upon you in the name of jesus ministry with evidence ministry with proof go and be a deliverer with fire go and be a deliverer it doesn't matter what yoke has sat upon your destiny and your families i decree and declare right now by the power of the holy ghost let there be that impartation of grace impartation of fire upon you impartation of power upon you prophetic ministries prophetic ministries prophetic ministries multiplied visions prophetic ministries particularly prophetic ministries whatever has beclouded your vision so that you don't see again so that you don't hear again receive fire upon your destiny fire upon your destiny the hearing ear the seeing eye the hearing ear the seeing eye in the name of jesus let there be an ignition by the power of the holy ghost the lord is speaking to me about prophetic ministries All of you who are out here I decree and declare according to the word of the Lord step into the grace that has been apportioned for you in the name of Jesus step into that grace 
step into that grace right now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah now alongside these people there are a group of people i want to pray for please hear me the bible says saviors shall come out of zion can i tell you every family every territory has men and women who have been selected god wants to permeate families and bring deliverance but there are individuals that god must find wherever they are here if you are the one anointed and ordained that god will raise you to wipe the tears of your family wherever you are under the sound of my voice at the bakato at the count of three may god locate you it's time for your family to arise may god locate you may god locate you young and old saviors arise by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ arise 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 in the name of jesus he has nothing to do with gender male or female if god has raised you whether you are a gideon or deborah may the power of god come upon you in the name of jesus christ all of you in front i declare by the power of the holy ghost let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please let them go back to their seats quickly if they can let them go back to their seats i want to pray a very serious prayer right now this is a miracle service and the prayer i'm about to pray is a major prayer can i tell you this truly truly causes are real truly yokes are real embargoes are real yes the power of god is there to deliver but it does not happen automatically this is why you are here i want you to pay attention there are patterns i will never stop praying this prayer there are families under the sound of my voice the same thing everybody faces in the family if it's retrogression it happens to everybody if it's delayed it happens to everybody right now i want to pray at the count of three whether you are inside or outside i like you to shout that name jesus and as you shout the power of the holy ghost will rest marvelously upon you there are spirits that will not let destinies go free great people some of you have traveled abroad and even returned but nothing is changing my bible says therefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name every family here having any charm or any cause or any ordinance any fraternity with darkness at the count of three may the fire of the holy ghost land upon that family are you ready to shout at the count of three one two three shout jesus right now yokes causes i break causes generational causes patterns of darkness be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now bring them out be destroyed now in the name of jesus every spirit that will not let you go i decree and declare be delivered now in the matchless name of jesus please bring them out quickly help the ushers whether you are an usher or not please help them hallelujah we are still praying we are still praying the lord is delivering many 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 people right now every altar that is sitting on anybody's life 
yokes that will not let you go some of you have dreams you go to bed in the night and hear this oppression comes right now by the power of the holy spirit may that fire locate you wherever you are <laughs> hallelujah please pay attention there is a marvelous work that god is doing here there are some of you your oppressions have come in dreams you go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams going back to secondary schools writing exams that don't finish eating all kinds of things fraternizing with dead spirits right now at the count of three makatos kata anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams i declare at the count of three shout jesus again one two three let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now by the power of the holy ghost be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb hallelujah hallelujah i'm hearing a name mabel mabel like m-a-b-e-l is there someone like that we have to hurry up because i want to pray for the sick i'm hearing a name mabel mabel you are wearing something like her tie it's like lime or it's i don't know what color it is is there someone like that mabel what's your name where are you from is the mic working hallelujah what's your name mabel. huh mabel you are mabel you are mabel too who is from cross river i want to pray for you where are you from where in cross river Bokeh. i want to pray for you because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing fire and the lord wants to bring deliverance to your family you believe that i want to pray for you there's an elderly woman now i'm seeing the power of god come on that elderly woman you are not young i'm seeing the power of god come on you the lord is bringing salvation to your family your prayer has been your children in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but right now i'm seeing power from heaven please bring the person here my sister let me pray for you very quickly in the name of jesus christ i decree over your life and over your family everything that has a connection to ancestry by the power of the holy spirit let it be gone right now let it be gone right now it will not follow you to your marriage in the name of jesus christ let it be gone right now in the name of jesus and to you please just help them make sure they don't enjoy themselves to you the other lady mabel i stretch my hands in jesus name let there be a supernatural visitation for your family in the name of jesus i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of the lord let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now bring for me the person who shouts now in this main auditorium loud under the power of god i just heard that sound in my spirit a loud shout this lady there's a lady that that lady placing her hand on her neck please tap her for me lift your hands i'm seeing fire coming on you and the lord is saying he's removing everything that stands as a barrier i don't know what it is but right now let that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ 
that barrier is over now in the name of Jesus Christ that embargo is lifted now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah is there someone with the name Jumai I'm hearing a name Jumai Jumai this is what I'm hearing please if that is not your name please don't come out please let's everybody will be touched let's hurry up because I want Jumai who is that is there someone with such a name Jumai this is what I'm hearing that that's a northern most likely please verify make sure that you oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh. hallelujah the power of God is coming on a businessman now I've seen that everything has failed this year you are into real estate or so this is what I'm real estate or something that has to do with land and construction but I'm seeing the power of God rest upon you now and the Lord is saying he's rewriting your story he's rewriting your story I don't know where that person is but may the power of the Holy Spirit touch you right now wherever you are in the name of jesus christ wherever help, please help him wherever you are in the name of jesus let this be the beginning of a new season this man come you this man please come god is about to change your life come what do you do what do you do i'm into real estate you are into real estate stand here god is about to change your life my friend you believe in miracles believe oh please believe in the name of jesus i stretch my hands oh there is something called a prophetic advantage and in the name of jesus by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands and i declare may the power of the holy spirit shift you to a new season shift you to a new season every limitation connected to what you do god who located you and i'm using him as a point of contact if there is anyone here that has been grounded in business that the only thing you see is shame and reproach may that embargo be broken now let it be broken now hallelujah why are they here okay i'm going to pray for you why is he here sir who brought him out here your name is jumai Oh, you just came out on your own it's okay i'll pray with you no problem it's all ah huh? sir look at me don't be ashamed look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus let it be over now keep him there in the name of jesus every oppression and every yoke over your life now i'm seeing something that looks like i'm seeing a serpent all around this man I declare right now the power of God is coming on one of you right now I just saw like light Cabrande. Jesus Christ God is visiting an ancient altar this is what I'm seeing. Let it be broken right now. Now, the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be broken by the power of the Holy Spirit. For every one of you who has come out here, I'm seeing the Lord bringing, I'm seeing this map I always see now. And I'm seeing Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State. The power of God is visiting families from Nasarawa State. This is what I'm saying. I stretch my hands right now. The power of God is going to begin to come upon families. There are yokes connected to those regions. I declare right now, every altar. Let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance right now i break those yokes i break those yokes in the name of jesus christ for all of you who are here 
madam please lift your hands look at me shame and reproach that's what i'm hearing and reproach let it leave you now never to return to you in the name of jesus christ mama where are you coming from who is huh? kogi state hmm. did you come here alone yes sir. you came here alone whatever connects you to the dead dead like dead people i'm praying this and this is not just for her i'm seeing the number one seven that everything that connects people to dead people they come to you in your dreams when you are sleeping calling you they won't let you rest this is the spirit of death over families i'm, I'm going to pray for you mama but i'm using it as a point of contact please take what i'm saying seriously if there is anyone here or any family here appointed unto death right now i declare as i'm praying for our mother here may that that arrow that has been sent to that family let it return back to any devil that sent it let it return let it return to every devil that sent it let it return to every devil that sent it let it return to every devil that sent it in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, Mama. Right now, I stretch my hands. Parusha Katabrandegadeba, Kogi State. Let there be a miracle. I separate you from the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus. And all of you who are in front here, for whatever reason you are out, in Jesus' name, may God give you a visitation. May God give you a visitation. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you i sense such a strong healing anointing i know that god wants to really really heal the sick we we'll hurry up so that we'll start ministering to the sick but i want to pray please stop this woman for me this mama please don't be embarrassed man lift your hands i want to pray for you please stand up stand up the lord wants to remove reproach where are you coming from ma Don't, don't cry madam don't worry you are, you are here before the lord you see sometimes you may not know what kind of oppression people go through you see people laughing clapping hands lifting holy hands but there are people who are standing it's like they are standing on hot coals while they worship the lord hallelujah let me pray for you madam in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you you were going and the lord said i should stop you i declare that shame and reproach over your family and over your own life the spirit i want to pray here there is a spirit that makes people to be misunderstood where your evil becomes good your good becomes evil or there are people here it has happened to many people even in their workplace you do good things but people misinterpret what you are doing you know when bishop oyedeko started ministry our father and the lord this is what he said that one time they were praying and the church was not growing and he said the lord asked them please help those under the anointing it's a serious prayer i want to pray now he said that the holy spirit asked him to come out and he stood and he looked up and in a vision he saw a thick layer of darkness and he said this is the blindfolding demon that misunderstands what you are doing and he says now rebuke it and he rebuked it and it folded and went and he produced a poster he said come and see and that was it i want to pray for someone here the bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of i pray for you if there is any manipulation over your destiny that makes every good thing you do to be misunderstood i break that spirit from off your life now i cut that spirit away from your destiny now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam i declare this is your don't cry this is your liberty right now by the power of the holy spirit 
I'm seeing a family, my God. Ah, you are the only child, not like maybe male or female, you are the only child in that family. And I'm seeing the spirit of hardship. The Lord wants to bring deliverance to that family right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that is. If, if, if there is someone like that, please let me know. I want to pray for you. You are, you are the only child. Only child. You are the only child. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Only child. I want to pray. In the name of Jesus, please stretch your hands towards me. I decree and declare the embargo of hardship and suffering and everything that has kept your... Please make sure you are coming out for this situation. This situation, don't just come out at random. I stretch my hands right now and I decree and declare. Honestly, the power of God is coming on you. In the mighty name of Jesus, every connection with yokes of ancestry, makapatos kete pekete pa, ekres kete lekata, shanakata bakata. Let it be broken now. 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 Every yoke sitting on your destiny that you will not move forward. I prophesy to you. Advance in the name of Jesus. At abakatos kete pekata. Advance in the name of Jesus. Only child. Paranda skadi lakotosia. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Can you imagine? Only child, everyone here. I'm praying let them go release their destinies now I'm praying for everybody but there are two people particularly here in front I'm praying this prayer for release their destinies right now release their destinies right now release their destinies right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus release their destinies right now everything holding you down tying you down be delivered in the name of Jesus yes. hallelujah let this be permanent in your life yes. and I pray for you out of you that looks like you are the only one may nations arise yes. 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 in the name of Jesus please return back to your seat Let's pray for the sick now. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Catabranda Catecatos Catabranda Catapacotos Cotopre Cateca Necata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.